Welcome back, everybody. We're on part four of episode 126, and it's time to start talking about the results and our review of WrestleMania 30. I would have said the WrestleMania 30 pay-per-view, but we can't do that anymore. Special you just did. did that, sh- that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> so the pre-show uh, was two hours long instead of the normal one hour and we still only ended up having one match. But thankfully, it was a pretty damn good match. They gave it a considerable amount of time. I think it was like a full solid half an hour. Um, I was really hoping that they would have thrown a couple more matches onto the card for the pre-show. Maybe an NXT match or something. Just to have something else there. They spent an hour and a half doing the Legends panel and going over the promos and all that other kind of stuff. Which... Okay, yeah, it's WrestleMania. You're going to need to have a big step up in that kind of department. But I really think they could have kept that to an hour and they could have had one more 15-minute match or something. Still, I liked this match quite a bit. I thought that it was really entertaining. It had a pretty fast-paced style to it where you start off the pay-per-view in a way that has a lot of energy and then you kind of keep building on top of that. And, uh, you know, each tag team, they filled some kind of a role. I think it was really smart that they made this elimination style instead of just a, a one pinfall thing. Uh, that added a lot to the match. We had a good crowd for it. I mean, pretty much uh, start to finish, this was pretty good. I liked it. Way go. Yeah, I thought it was a great match. As far as the pre-show goes, um, I agree that I would have preferred having more matches other than, hey, we're old. It's a tag match. And... The match itself is fantastic, great opener, got the fans uh, lively. I wish it was on the main card. These guys deserved the biggest showing that they could get. And surprisingly, Ryback and Curtis Axel really did their part well. And it told the story of uh, Jack Swagger and Cesaro going to split up. So I loved its beginning to end and great showing for the Usos. Payton? This was a fine pre-show match. Um, started off kind of slow, picked up towards the end. I think it would have benefited from a couple different tag teams in it. I think Rybaxel did fine, but I think you could have gotten a better tag team in there. And I definitely think that, um, freaking who was the other team? The Matadors were a freaking waste of time in there. Um, I think you should have had Brotherhood in there and maybe you could have had the Wyatt, uh, double henchman guys in there. Um, I think that would have added a little bit more intrigue to this because those other two teams I mean, before this, when was the last time Bad Doors were even on Raw? Like, They're never. On Raw on, Monday, on this, the Monday before Raw. But I mean, <laughs> otherwise, besides that, we hadn't seen them in like four months. No, they, they, show up, they show up on occasion to win no, the band of match. No. Yeah, yeah they, they were on yeah, the one time do. and they said Olay. On Superstars, maybe. They're not on Raw. No, no they're uh, on Raw. I, I think we were saying on our prediction show that uh, the only reason to not have the Brotherhood in this match was if they were going to do something special with them in the Battle Royal, which, unless I blinked and missed it, I don't think they did Jack. So there's no damn good reason why the Brotherhood was not in this match continuing their tag team run. Um, I, I think that's a travesty. And, and with how short the tag team match was, crap, there was no reason not to have the Outlaws in there either. Who's Jack? <laughs> true yeah I thought this was a fine match I, I had no problem with the Matadors or um, Ryback Baxel in the match and yeah you know what you know it's just weird like as soon as uh, the Brotherhood lost the tag titles they just kind of uh, dropped and you know they're kind of in that you know that uh, hey we're gonna just put you in backstage segments and that kind of stuff which you know it sucks they, had, they were doing damn fine when they had the title they were on fire for the most part so yeah, but besides with that, they um, I really enjoyed this, and you know what it, and what made this match a lot better was you know usually with the pre-show matches there's there's people still coming into the arenas and finding their seats, but you know that I don't know if it was just WrestleMania, but you know it, it seemed like there was everyone was already in their seats. I think you know they wanted to show up early, you know, get ready for a hell of a pay-per-view, which is what it turned out to be. But yeah, I was really surprised by the turnout for a pre-show match, especially. So, yeah, it was a very good match, and, uh, you know, it's unfortunate it was on the main card, but, hey, what are you going to do? It's WrestleMania. Now, where do you guys think that the Usos are going to come from here? Because it doesn't seem like they're really building up anything necessarily for Extreme Rules, and we've got one of these teams has broken up, and they're probably going to have a match together. The two other teams are really kind of pointless. If they did the Usos against the Los Matadores, nobody would give a shit. If they did them against Ryback and Curtis Axel, well... 
the biggest thing that Ryback and Curtis Axel can attribute to their names for this weekend was that their entrance theme got a better remix, which isn't really anything against them. So I don't really know who's next in line for the tag titles, but it seems like they should be defending them at Extreme Rules, yeah. right? They should. I mean, it's weird because, you know, they're... There's really no one that can really challenge for it unless you're gonna have like the yes. outlaws. I mean, I don't want I don't wanna see um the Wyatt's as a fucking tag team champ, so you know, unless they want to do face on face and it's weird. You know, tough situation. Maybe Batista and Brock. No, not both. I mean um, now we're who knows. There's yeah. two ways this could really go. Um one, they fall into the Evan Bourne and Kofi Kingston role where they're a tag team with no real opponents and they just hold the belts for, sake and, for the sake of holding the belt. That or the evol- Evolution pick up the titles in this whole ongoing war against the Shield. Um, that's the only other thing I can see happening. Um, so, yeah. Do you think that there's any kind of a chance that they could throw the two Wyatt family members in there? I hope not. Give them something to do, since it doesn't seem like they're going to be wrestling anything with John Cena. It would make sense, and it would also make sense for them to take the belts, just because they're going to look all really weak, pretty much. Because face it, Bray Wyatt's not going to be losing week in and week out. If anyone is, it's going to be the Wyatt family. So giving them the belts by WWE logic is a way to rectify that. Peyton, who do you think is next up for Usos? Um, I think that going into extreme rules we're actually going to see some type of multi-man match that the usos will probably be involved in there won't be any actual tag titles involved um perhaps we'll see like horton and batista continue to challenge him on the raws in between as a build-up to it i don't think they'll take it off of them i think the next serious challengers for them will be the wyatts though uh whether they take it from them i don't know i i gotta see how strong they're still going to be after the wyatts um having bray lose to john cena makes me lose a lot of faith in their confidence in that group and what their future may be. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some dissension being teased in the Wyatts. Hmm. Well, that's it for the coverage for the pre-show. We're going to move on to the next segment here and start talking about the first match of the night for the normal section of the pay-per-view Daniel Bryan versus triple H. <laughs> 